All right. Welcome. My name is Dr. Jude Ejepu. Um, like I promised in class, I'm going to be demonstrating the applications of remote sensing to geology. And um, remote sensing has very, very broad and wide applications. And in this series of videos that we're going to be having, we're going to demonstrate the capabilities of NV 5.3 in analyzing, processing, um, remotely sensed images. Um, let me begin by saying that MV, it's an acronym for environment for visualizing images. It is a software application used to process and analyze geospatial imagery. It is commonly used by remote sensing professionals and image analysts. MV bundles together a number of scientific algorithms for image processing, a lot of which are contained in automated wizard-based approach that walks the users through complex tasks. MV image analysis software is used by GIS professionals, remote sensing scientists, an image analyst to extract meaningful information from imagery to make very, very good decisions. MV can be deployed and assessed from the desktop. It can be assessed in the cloud. It can be assessed even on mobile devices and can be customized through an ap application, an API to meet um, specific project requirements. So, and um, for this particular tutorial, we're going to be using MB 5.3. But before we begin, there are several things that we have to set. And um, if you have got your software installed, you can, I'm using the Windows version 10, you can just go and click on the Windows button, scroll down to NV and uh, just click this little guy over here so that we have a drop down. So for faster access, we want to we want to um, pin this to the tax bar so that we can easily access uh, the software. So you're going to click here, go to more and uh, pin to taskbar so that we we'll have it on the taskbar. That is the first big assignment for you. I hope that is okay. And also, we are going to be using this other one, this MV Classic. And we are going to pin this also to the taskbar. So we have them here for easy access. Now, uh, before we start using it, there are several things that we're going to be doing to set our environment so that um, MV will always um, to, to put all our files in a particular place. And um, if you have not made, um, so I would advise you to create a folder anywhere of your choice. And for me, I've created one here. So that every thing that we're going to be using will be contained in the folder. I created a folder, get two, three, two, three labs, and it's in my documents folder, uh, my documents folder, and it's here. So I've got some of the things that we are going to be using. So all our environment will be mapped to this particular folder. So let us begin. And um, what we are going to be doing is we are going to um, right click on this and click this little guy over here so that it will load the MV software. It takes some time for it to load, but then it will be loading while we do several other things. The essence of this 
is for us to map or to put our input and our output folder to essentially tell MV how it's going to behave in several situations which can be demonstrated um, soon enough because it takes time to load and I wouldn't want this video to be running we would pause and um, allow the video to run okay we are up so okay for the first time it's going to ask you if you are going to allow this so click on allow access so that um, it will allow MV to be assessed because your firewall sometimes blocks some of these applications from corrupting your system because most times it will assume that it's a virus that is trying to assess your system so you are going to give it the administrative privileges for it to run so now this is the interface that usually comes up first and uh, because we are loading both the IDL and uh, the MV, it's going to, it usually takes some time to load for the first time, but then we are all good for that. So while it's loading, we are just going to tell you about the things that we're going to be doing because at the end of this particular video, you must have learned how to set your environmental variables you must have learned how the the MV, the environment of the MV software looks like, all the tabs, all the icons that we are going to be using, and all the tiles that are available in the MV software. Okay, so we are up, and um, this is essentially what um, the interface of uh, the MV looks like. Uh, on the right hand side here we have the toolbox. This is where we are, what we are going to be using to be running our complex um, uh, applications, a complex analysis that we are going to be doing using the MV software. And there are quite a number of them. So most times easily you can now click on this search toolbox and search for a particular tool that um, you are going to be using. But before we start, we want to set some, um, some preferences here. So if you click on file and you go down to preferences, here you click on that and it's going to bring out this particular pop-up. Now it's saying for the application how do you want it to behave but we are not so worried about this now this is the second one that we're going to click and um, you say auto display files on open you can click this and click this small guy here and you see either yes or no we want to turn it on to read yes and um, for the auto display of multi-spectral files always want the true color to appear first and we are going to be explaining all this when uh, we start using the software so here which is the most important is in launch data manager when mv launches we want to make it that to be yes so we click on yes and um, that is all for this particular place and in the directories menu, we want to map the areas where we want our MV to have our input directory. Input directory means this is where you have your data files, where you want to use it for. And here, I've already mapped it out to be in the particular folder I have done. So if you click on this right arrow, you can always go to wherever you have it and you click on that and that will appear so for the temporary 
directory I want to have it also mapped to the folder that I have created earlier because this is important so that we now put everything that we have done in this particular folder for easy access so for every other thing we just want to leave them like this we don't want to actually alter some of these things now for the general display area um, what stretch are we going to be having once these images are displayed we'll leave it at this optimal uh, opti optimized linear and then how do we want our geographic um, coordinates to appear uh, we'll leave it at these degrees minutes and seconds and all that now this not arrow do you want not arrow to show in your images uh, we want that to be yes and um, pretty every other thing should be okay once you continue using the advanced um, once you have mastered the the software you can now make other uh, advanced preferences so for, for that now we're going to click OK and that about settles what um, we are going to be doing so now a quick look at this um, MV um, the interface here we have the file where we can open our data we can open it as several other data types that we have uh, we're going to be demonstrating this for example in Latsat how do you open your data you can open recently created data sets you can now export the data this is the data manager and all that so and um, this is the display we can use it to display the spectral library viewer we can use this to add place marks and we can use this other uh, to create uh, several views that we are going to be having if you want just one view or two views this will do it and we can now use this to uh, link and reference our map all this will be demonstrated during the course of uh, these um, uh, of these uh, videos and like I said for the toolbox you can search for various toolboxes uh, that you can use for example if you want to edit the MB header which we are going to demonstrate soon you can just click that and then the MV header comes up and you can double click it to actually show you whatever you need instead of going through all these um, several um, data, I mean the toolboxes that we have it makes you to have easy access to a particular data so that about all sums of the how to prepare MV for the analysis we're going to be having in the next video we are going to continue to demonstrate how MV can be used for remotely for remote sensing as it applies to geology thank you very much